Okay, let's do an example on gauge pressure to really understand the gauge pressure equation, which up here uh, was your absolute pressure, P minus one standard atmospheric pressure. Um, so in this example, we have this container and it is filled with water. So the row here or the mass density is 1000 kilograms per meter cubed and the container is open to the top. So this P naught value is 0.9 atm. So it's not one full atmospheric pressure, not 101.3 kilopascals, but really 90% of 101.3 kilopascals. And the pressure at the very bottom of this container, so at the very bottom here, is 55 kilopascals. Now, quick note, this is gauge pressure. So in this particular example, this pressure is the pressure that is read on the pressure gauge at the very bottom of this container. So this is gauge pressure. This is not absolute pressure. And the question is asking, what is the depth of the container? Or in other words, what is the depth from the open surface here all the way down to the bottom where we read this gauge pressure of 55 kilopascals? So there's a few things to keep in mind. Remember, pressure gauge is equal to the absolute pressure minus 1 atm. And this 1 atm is 101.3 kilopascals, right? The standard atmospheric pressure at uh, average sea level. Okay, so then. How do we figure out what this depth D is given our gauge pressure uh, equation and some values that we have here? So the first thing I want to do is let's talk about this gauge pressure. So this 55 kilopascals. Well, in our equation right over here, we have this gauge pressure is equal to your absolute pressure minus 1 atm. And we know what the gauge pressure is, right? It's 55 kilopascals. And we know what 1 atm, that is 101.3 kilopascals. So if we take these values and plug them into this equation, we can essentially find what this absolute pressure is at the very bottom of this container. So let's do that. So the gauge pressure is 55 kilopascals, right? And this is equal to the absolute pressure at the bottom minus 1 atm, which is 101.3 kilopascals. And if we simply just add 101.3 kilopascals to both sides, we get that the absolute pressure is equal to 156.3 kilopascals. So this pressure right here is the absolute pressure at the very bottom of this container right here, right? Given that the gauge pressure at the bottom was 55 kilopascals. Okay, cool. So now that we have the absolute pressure, remember from a few videos ago, we have this equation called the hydrostatic pressure equation. And that was some absolute pressure is equal to P naught plus rho G D, where rho is the mass density, in this case, 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. G is your gravitational constant. And D is really the depth from this open surface or this P naught down to the point that you're studying. So we're looking at the very bottom of this container. So this P right here is going to be this absolute pressure that we found here given the gauge pressure of 55 kilopascals. Now remember this P naught is the pressure at the open surface or the datum that we start this uh, D value or we measure d from down to the point that we're studying right so this p naught value is 90 percent of one atmospheric pressure which is 101.3 kilopascal so 90 percent of that is 91.17 kilopascals so this 91.17 kilopascals is really the p naught value uh, that we want, right? That's a pressure at the open surface here. So we can actually start plugging values in. So P, remember, we found out was 156.3 uh, kilopascals or 156.300 pascals, right? Just multiplying by 1,000. And that's equal to P naught, which is 91,170 pascals 
plus rho, which is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, uh, kilograms meter times gravity, which is 9.18 or 9.81 meters per second squared, times d, and this is our unknown. So if we simply just do the math and plug this into our calculators, uh, d is really 6.6. Uh, three nine one four something 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 uh, meters or about six point six four meters so this is the depth of this container that we're studying and we use the concept of gauge pressure which was given at the bottom of this container to figure out what D was